Hey folks, I'm Tim. Welcome to The Restoration Couple. Today we're back on a garden project. We're doing a bit of family fencing. Stick around and I'll show you how we did it. Quite right, a bit of a road trip today. I'm giving uh, Joe's sister and brother-in-law a hand. We are only a few minutes from the farm, but we're going to get this fence in just to make their garden a little bit more kind of child-proof, chicken-proof. Maybe even keep the rabbits out. I'm going to put in some fence posts I had left over, just some tantalised uh, round posts. We're going to get those knocked in, and we're going to use some of the green garden mesh. It's 1,200 high. It's great for chickens, dogs, anything like that. Keeping kids. Uh, where they're meant to be. So that's what we're going to do. Got the petrol knocker and we've got a bigger knocker if we need it. I'm going to put a string line out. I've got a bit of an elect uh, electric uh, fence in there. Just going to keep off the hedge a little bit and then I don't know if they're going to bother trimming behind. It will probably just grow out too. This is lay land ice so we don't really want to be cutting it back too hard. And then we should end up with a fairly even top height all the way along. Well, I've done a diagonal down the other end, so what I'm going to do is get those two in. It's kind of like the, the sheep fencing that I've been doing for the last year, but it's far more domestic. And don't let this deter you, because this is actually a really simple way to go for a garden fence, chicken fence, dogs, whatever it might be. And it's fairly inexpensive as well. I would suggest that if you're going to do it conventionally, you could use square posts. You could just get a bit of post creep, a bag of post creep, maybe a bag of post creep would go every two uh, or, or maybe a bag per post if you want it really solid you might remember at the old house they used it created the veg garden chicken runs and all sorts uh, it's a nice it stands nice and rigid you don't need any special tools for it even though we are using the petrol knocker because it just gets the job done quicker and if you've got good ground freely draining ground i would be inclined to say that your post will last just as long in bare soil then if you encapsulate them in concrete and you end up with water sitting on top of the concrete then it'll always rot here whereas up on this ground i've been pulling out fence posts for the last two years which have been in 20 years maybe more straight into soil absolutely no problems at all uh, if you want to do a really thorough job then yes you could go with concrete leave it a little bit proud haunch it but you're always going to trap moisture in on the neck of it just above ground i've also probably gone over the top a little bit um, these are not big strainer posts like we'd have in the farm but it means that we can get a little bit of tension on this fencing and pull it and just keep it nice and neat so I've gone just notched in just halfway up to put this diagonal in and all I'm going to do is just dig a little bit there and butt it into this one that's already knocked in
Good. Right, that is both ends done. We've also got a little turning post in the middle. So now I'm just going to pull a string line out between the two and then we can set all these posts on. We're probably going to follow a little bit of a curve against this hedge just so it kind of follows the contour of the lawn and then it's a nice straight line at the end. Right, the first section went quite well. In the end, we did end up using the clamp to pull it just nice and tight. We're gonna put a join on the post and then we're gonna come around the back of this pampas grass and along. So we'll go around the back of the corner post and then back on the front side all the way to the end. For those of you who haven't seen fencing on the farm channel, this is the boundary clamp, which basically means you can clamp it to the wire of whatever you're putting in and strain. We put chain on there and pull it tight. You don't really need this. You could just put two strips of bit of CLS or said work, screw them together and then that will clamp the wire and then you can pull on that. Rather than pulling this, this is quite light gauge, even though it looks thick, the wire itself on the inside of the PVC is quite thin. So if you bend it, it stays bent. Whereas the benefit of putting and sandwiching it is you can give it a bit more of a, a tug. And although it's not a high tensile fence, we've now got a pretty tight net in there. So even if this grows against it or if someone runs against it, it's not gonna distort. No. It's out of sight, isn't it? We might want to scrape a bit up off the floor here. Right, once we're our end of our second run, it's going to take three and a half rolls to get to the end, the 10 metre rolls. Uh, this is the contraption I messed up with the pulley. I need to take that apart in the workshop, so I'll just use a ratchet clamp uh, strap. That's all we need really to give it a bit of tension. And this is why I was saying you could replace with two bits of timber clamped. Uh, just pull it all nice and tight. So there you go, that's looking nice and tidy on the back. Tight enough, and I'm just going every other with the staples. And then alternating 
So it's top, second one down on the next. The other way you can do this, rather than pulling the whole thing as a clamped with either something like that or the two timbers, is we can just pull each individual strand and nail them off. The danger there is that you end up with a bit of a wave in the wire. So I'll do that on the bottom here where we couldn't get to before, uh, but it's easy to pull it all as one if we can. Well, we've done all right. It is uh, the end of the day, enjoying a beer, and we've got everything done. We're just going to put a couple of rails in at the end just to tidy it up. Uh, but that is 40 meters of, I can't remember what it's called, pool, it's a bit like pool fence, but it's lighter weight, um, just like garden boundary fence. You get it at screw fix. I'll put a link in the description if I can find it. And these are regular tantalized three inch or 75 mil round posts. You could put any posts you want, you could do square posts round posts, you could concrete them in, doesn't really matter. The key is you do want to be able to pull it tight. Unlike the high tensile, you staple all the way in. So we're stapled in tight there. So we're not letting it slide back and forth like, like with the stock fence, but we still want to make sure that both ends are anchored nice and tight. So I think this is working okay. Even if this just comes back by 10 mil, it makes it a little bit loose. Um, so we're just going to try and pull it one last little bit and i'm going to put some rails from here to this old chunky strainer it looks a little bit rotten but it's absolutely solid that will just make sure that this is not going to go anywhere this is nice and tight it's not pulling this way but if we can anchor it all to there even better johnny picked this up in 10 meter rolls i assume from screw fix or somewhere similar I don't know if you can get this in longer lengths. Maybe you can. We could have run it all in. If we could get it in a 50 meter roll, that would have been ideal. Our joins, we've just simply matched up the mesh uh, size and stapled over both, which in reality you don't really see and it's absolutely fine. If you were getting really fussy, you could put another trim piece over the front of all these posts just to hide all the staples. There we go. We started in the sunshine. We're finishing, it's a little bit nippy, but uh, the fence is in one day project we like those do you know what it just blends in you can't barely see it when i stand back here it's quite nice against a hedge or if you've got a view going out onto a field that you know the fact that it's covered in the, the pvc green just disappears now one option you can do which is what i've done in the past is get your posts in first then you can stain them a dark color whether it's dark brown or in dark green and then they disappear a bit as well but these are quite smart posts they're all regular machined and they are what they are they're nice and neat and we've kept them plumb as well so that goes all the way through we put a turner post in the middle and we just finish off down the far end so it's all nicely tensioned and it's not going to go anywhere now i've done a full video um using this uh, out on the farm fencing uh, we've got it on loan as part of the other channel but it's called the easy post driver and it makes light work of this sort of stuff you may be able to hire these somewhere um if not, of course, you can knock them in by hand. You can definitely hire these. Leave it there. I'll leave Johnny to tidy up behind me. I'm going to get back and uh, check on everything at the farm. Thank you for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. We'll see you next time.